Welcome back everybody. Why are we going to be talking about the rule of threes today? It's because it's important. I just took my boards a couple days ago and I'm not going to say what was on the test. All I'm going to say is this is going to be an important topic not only for your boards but also for any examinations in any class because this is a great test question. The rule of threes. Now well, what is the rule of threes? We're going to be talking about only the thoracic area. So only, uh, only vertebral levels 1 through 12. Also, uh, before we begin on it, I'm just going to go very basically. The spinous process is going to be the, the midline posterior process sticking out of the vertebra, uh, out of the vertebra. And then the transverse process, there's going to be two of them. They'll be the little, uh, little horns on either side of the vertebral body. So the transverse processes are always going to be at the level of the vertebral level, the vertebral segment. So uh, if we're talking about T6, there will be two transverse processes sticking laterally out of T6. However, the spinous process, on the other hand, the, the, the one process sticking out the posterior midline, it can either be at the level of the vertebral, uh, at the level of the vertebral body, halfway between the vertebral body of whatever spinous process we're talking about. So let's say we're talking about the spinous process of C6. If we're, if we're in a certain region, it may be between, oops, going ahead of myself, it may be between C6 and C7. So instead of sticking straight out the back, it may stick slightly down and it'll be halfway between the level of C6 and C7. Or it could be one full level below. So if we're talking about a certain level, so here's C8 it could be a full level below. So when we're palpating the spinous process, we're, we're feeling, we feel that spinous process tip, we could be theoretically at the level of C8. So what the rule of threes is gonna do is it's gonna tell you where the spinous process is in relationship to the transverse process um, of that vertebral level. So for the rule of threes, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be chopping the thoracic spine into three. So one through three, four through six, seven through nine. Well, that's not all of the levels yet. So we're just gonna do one, two, and three. So now we have six different topics that we need to talk about. One to three, four to six, seven to nine is where we're gonna start. Thoracic level one to three, if we're talking about T1, we're gonna be at the level of the transverse process. So our spinous process is what we're going to be referring to. The spinous process will stick straight out the back of T1, T2, and T3. So it'll be at the level of the transverse process of that vertebral segment. So the, the T1, the tip of the spinous process, will be at the transverse process of T1, likewise of 2 and 3. For 4 through 6, we'll be halfway between the segment and one below. So halfway between the segment that we're talking about, so let's say T4, and, the, and halfway between the segment below, so T4 and T5. So the tip of the spinous process will be at four and a half. And then seven through nine will be one full segment below. The tip of that spinous process will be at the vertebral body or the transverse process of the unit below. So if we're talking about uh, T7, the spinous process will hang all the way down over the body of T8 and we'll be able to see the spinous or the transverse processes of T8 uh, at the level of the spinous process of T7. Now that's kind of a confusing subject. Uh, it, I did say that right, so if you need to rewind, go ahead. Um, now we're going to be talking about 10, 11, and 12. Where do these fit in? Well, T10 is going to be the same as 7 to 9. 11 is going to be the same as 4 to 6. And then T12 is going to be the same as one to three. So 
one to three at the level, four to six, half, seven to nine, a full below, 10, we're gonna be the same as seven, eight, nine, 11, four to six, and 12, one to three. So this is gonna be the rule of threes. It's a little confusing. However, remember, this is a high yield topic. Uh, any anatomy class, any OMM class, any board examination you're gonna be taking, uh, this will be a very high yield 